I figure it's time for a little bit more reading. <clears throat> All right, so I'm at this uh, access point, and I figured that this would be a good time to jump into the limiters and sort of t tell a little bit about them, since they have their own little inspections and all that. So do all that. So resili resilience li limiter, the bad cell limiter. All right, designation bad cell. The cells, they spoil. They spoil like, well, like anything that spoils, except instead of spoiling they, that they, they become something else. Something they don't seem to want to be. This is no conversion, but a total me metamorphosis. It cannot be reversed as far as I can tell. Once the cell has shifted to this form, they all that remains is that it's, it's expelled its stored potential. Like a last breath. Back into either, I suppose, some form of self-defense, Royce. So roll to be recycled. Features pellet blaster, burst shockwave, vulnerabilities, unarmored frame, cannot detect cover. Preferences cool, dark places, and early termination. All right, let's inspect the uh, efficiency limiter. So designation jerk. Wouldn't want to agitate this particular specimen. Would strongly advise against any such thing. Do not disturb. Although it is quite docile, really. Not easily disturbed, but not to be disturbed. Its large frame suggests to me that it is an older form. Less efficient. Less capable, in some ways. Though specialized. Specialized like, specialized like all the rest. It wouldn't still be around if it didn't have its uses. And just you look at it. You can guess what um, it's, uh, it's for, I'm sure. Need a good plot of land to build upon. Why, here's the process you've ought to call Royce. So, piston flatteners, overdrive system, grapple shot, some versions. Vulnerabilities doesn't have any. And its preferences are pulverizing and absor absorption. So, that's a jerk. Abundance limiter. Designation young lady. Most embarrassing. Though I must admit, I can't explain this one's rather compitious appearance. Specifically, it resembles the body of a woman. Now, mathematically, there's a chance that this is coincidental. There is always a chance, but I find that hard to believe. And rather, I suspect that the process is taking a bit of a liking to us. Start taking on some of our quirks, like how one might subs subconsciously assume the mannerisms of a friend. At any rate, this is one is very unusual. Very much so. I'm rather temper te temperamental too, so I've yet to gain a sense for all its in intricacies, Roy. So, supervisor, it's basically a fragmentation beam, cell incubator, cell copy system. Its vulnerabilities are basically high yield functions, so I guess you use high yield functions to kill it. And uh, its preferences are constant, co co uh, constant noises and people. So I guess it likes people. And then of course we got initiative limiter. Designation weed. The ground is positively teeming with these little numbers, is it now? They spread while underground of this, I'm certain though, the exact method is reproduction. That I don't exactly understand. It isn't, well, it must get so crowded down there that once in a while, why one of them decides it's time to poke its head up to look around. Is this a primordial form of some sort from which all the others came to pass? The others tend to turn to these as though for guidance, despite how simple they appear to be. It requires for your study, Royce. And of course, these guys feature restorative aura, defensive aura. Their vulnerabilities are that they're immobile and they can't self-restore. And their preferences are borrowing and sterile ground. So yes, the limiters. There's six more to basically look into, so I'll basically be reading about them at some point. But I figure that's enough for that now, and I figure for the rest of this, let's just look at the uh, functions for the uh, half of the camerata that I've been, you know, finishing off. Sybil Rez. Known in elite social circles throughout the Cloud Bank, 
Miss Sybil Raz organized many of the city's popular pub public events, from groundbreaking ceremonies to contemporary festivals. She was everywhere, and yet somehow she had she made time to lead a second hidden life as one of the camerata. Miss Rez was responsible for gathering information about potential high-value targets, people who can who, who, people who could contribute to their cause. She did this job to perfection, drawing no notice. The one target in particular caused her much, much, much frustration. Meeting Red. Miss Rez met Red while putting together a small program for up and coming artists, and became infatuated first with Red's music and then with her. According to her diary entries, there was something inscrutable and confident about Red that Miss Rez could not explain. However, Miss Rez was frustrated to find that Red grew distant. Through all this, Miss Red observed the aloofness of one of Red's companions, and aside he must have been an instant Red against her. Miss Fred fought through various ways to rectify this. Recommendations One night, Miss Rez nominated Red as a target for the camera colleagues, citing Red's surging popular popularity in the city and her unusual set of selections. Red could substantially advance the camera's agenda, and was not yet so ambiguously that her sudden disappearance can be sufficiently disguised. Miss Rez promised that the camera could get to Red at a time when she would be completely alone. Trace data reveals that 85% chance that she falsified this claim. Alright, so, you know, maybe like she had her own, you know, pre, -con pre -con conditions about what to do and actually like attacked when like, Red was like meeting with someone. And of course we got this guy, Asher Kendrill. He's just still alive, I guess, and telling us on uh, you know message boards about what's going on. But anyhow, most children learn to stop asking why, but Mr. Ashel Kendrill never outgrew it. His hunger for knowledge and his eagerness to spread it made him a pro prolific writer who enjoyed a career as a culture and current events editor for OVC. When Mr. Kendrill w wasn't busy reporting, he occupied himself studying the history of the city. But the deeper he delved, the more frustrated he became with all the dead ends and contradictions. The facts simply did not add up, so he started piecing together the unwritten history of Cloudbank. He conducted interviews with venerable members of society, who, those who were willing to work past retirement age or could speak firsthand about the past. The most remarkable about, among them was the administrator. This, Mr. Kendra was struck by the administrator's, administrator's wisdom and depth of experience and the two shared a passion for seeking the truth of things, and for much more as it turned out. One day the minister took Mr. Kendrill's aside to a place unlikely any, unlike any he'd seen before, and revealed to him something he never could imagine. With it the administrator said, together they could learn so much, about the past and about the future, as long as Mr. Kendrill was willing to keep it a secret. Mr. Kendrill accepted without a second thought. The administrator was much more to him than just a source of it at this point. Mr. Kendrill continued writing for the OVC, now with an ul ulterior motive. Having joined the administrator's inner circle, the administrator needed someone like Asher to help keep a low profile, someone who could speak directly to the hearts and minds of the population and truly understand their needs. That way, they could conduct their work in service of the people. Cloudbank would enter a new era. So yeah, basically, uh, I guess this is one of the camerata, and his job is more or less to, uh, you know, basically keep in line, keep in mind like the hearts and minds of the people, um, but you know they keep a low profile for themselves. All right, so that's a couple more things right now out of the way, and it feels a bit short just to ban, you know, uh, you know the episode at this point. So maybe I'll just do a few more, or maybe we'll do the rest of them. Yeah, maybe we'll do the rest of them. Nah, that's good enough for now. I'll see you guys in the next, you know, bit of this, and we'll just uh, continue on to what I hope will be the bosses, or the next boss. For now, take care. <laughs>